I just want to welcome you guys to uh, intake class for Las Vegas Rescue Mission. Um, today we're going to be talking about a post-acute withdrawal. According to about.com, post-acute withdrawal refers to withdrawal systems that continue to bother you after the acute initial detoxification of drugs has taken place. Post-acute withdrawal syndrome may last for weeks or months or even a few years after quitting drugs. Some of the questions that will come up during and for while you're having post-acute withdrawal are, what happens to the brain while you're detoxing? That's an important aspect of what we're dealing with here, is what exactly is happening to your brain? What are you going to be feeling both physically and emotionally while you're coming off of drugs and alcohol? Some of the emotional withdrawal symptoms are anxiety, restlessness, irritability, insomnia, headaches, poor concentration, depression, and social isolation. And that comes from the American Journal of Drug and Alcohol Abuse. Some of you may be feeling that right now as, we're, as, I'm, as I'm talking to you. What I would tell you is, is that it's normal. What you're going through isn't something that's new. It's something that drug addicts and alcoholics have been going through for years. Some of the physical withdrawal symptoms are going to be sweating, racing hearts, palpitations, muscle tension, tightness in the chest, difficulty breathing, tremors, nausea, vomiting, or diarrhea. Those are some of the physical symptoms that drug addicts and alcoholics go through during what we call post-acute withdrawal. So, how does post-acute withdrawal <clears throat> affect the way we behave? That's an important aspect and an important question that we need to ask, especially those of us who are employed in the drug and alcohol uh, field. Thank, thank you, field. Yes. Um, it's important because the way you guys behave, right, is directly uh, affected by the post-acute withdrawal, which means we need to be sensitive to that. Drugs and alcohol are brain depressants. That means they push down on the spring. If your brain is like a spring, right, drug and alcohol will push down your brain, right, like, like a spring. So what happens is when you come off the drug and alcohol, what happens to the brain then? <laughs> So part of that, part of the circumstances of that then, we'll come back to what we've already talked about. Anxiety, restlessness, irritability, insomnia, headaches, poor concentration, depression, and social isolation. I don't mind repeating those symptoms because I feel as long as you're hearing that, and if you're going through that, just hearing that and knowing that it's normal may help somebody in this room today to make it another day clean and sober. Questions at the end. Okay. <laughs> what does it mean now that I want to get sober? So I want to get sober now. So what does it mean? In the beginning, your symptoms will change minute to minute. Meaning one minute you're going to be cold. One minute you're going to be hot. One minute you're going to need a blanket. One minute you're not. One minute you're going to be happy. One minute you're going to be sad. One minute you're going to be angry. It's going to change constantly, especially in the first 30 days. The first 30 days. Later, as you fully recover, I'm sorry, later as you recover further, these symptoms will begin to disappear throughout the weeks, days, and months. I think if you guys that are new here will ask guys that have been here for about a month, they will tell you that they're starting to feel better, that things are starting to come clear. And that's how it works. One of the questions is, though, is, and this is important, I've been sober for 90 days now. Usually 90 days is the mark. If, you can, if we can get you guys to 90 days of sobriety, there's a good chance that 80% of you that make it to 90 days of sobriety will graduate this program and be successful. Those are the numbers. That's how they bear out. It's those first 90 days. That's why it's so important. I've been sober for 90 days. And why do I still feel terrible? 
Once you've been in recovery for a while, you'll find that each post-acute withdrawal episode usually lasts for a few days. There's no obvious trigger for most episodes. So that's why you're still feeling bad even after 90 days because the fact is that post-acute withdrawal can last up to two years. Two years. Some people it's days, some people it's, it's months, but it can happen up to two years. One of the questions then is that needs to be asked then is, do I need to seek medical treatment while I'm detoxing? When you're detoxing from alcohol and tranquilizers, understand this, that some of the things that can happen are grand mal seizures. We had that happen here on the mission property. I was blamed for it, only to find out that it was the first time the gentleman actually had a, uh, a seizure. So heart attacks, strokes, hallucinations, and delirium, delirium tremors. So those are some of the things that you can expect or, or some of the things that might happen to you while you're coming off the alcohol and the opiates. So it's always wise to medically detox. That's why when you guys get here, what we do is we send you out to West Care. Because, like I like to tell everybody that gets here, we have no sharp edges around here. If you fall out here,